don't believe it will happen is that by doing this painful uh, work now, we're strengthening Catholic education regionally. We're going to do our best to make it the best year ever and work along with the kids, helping them to prepare themselves for the change. All right, it's our big story this morning with Catholic school attendance falling dramatically. The decision has been made to close 10 of the 45 elementary institutions here in Western New York. This morning, more than 1,000 families are dealing, with, are dealing with this devastating news, having to decide what to do next. Right now, we're joined by mental health counselor Lynn Shine, and this is really, people are probably just feeling a sense of loss right now. They're grieving. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. It's a loss like any other loss, and even with the Catholic schools especially, the school class sizes are smaller. So it feels, and we've heard it all morning, people describing it like a family. So it's a, it's a major loss. Now these, these students who are in, currently enrolled in these institutions are not gonna be transferred this year. They're gonna kind of finish out the year and then go to the next place. How can the families kind of retain a sense of normalcy for their children knowing that next year their lives are gonna change? Understand it's okay to grieve and your kids are going, you wanna respect where they are. But as parents, you really want to start presenting in a way that's more positive because you don't have a choice and the kids will be moving. So if um, even though you're hurting and you have strong feelings or you're angry, important to help the kids not feel helpless and frightened. So they're looking to you as their mirrors. So kind of set it up with a positive light. We, we actually heard a little bit of that in the sound because it is a new beginning at the same time, right? Yes, I mean, are is. there things that people should be looking forward to with this change? Well, I mean, there's transitions always in life, and if we want to look at the silver linings, it helps them learn how to cope with transitions, and that's something that they'll be dealing with forever. So that we can look at as positive and looking at their resilience and building their resilience. Um, in terms of making new friends, that's something that's positive and learning new things. Um, but again, allow your child to grieve in a proper, you know, we, we go through a whole lot of stages of grief and they may be sad, they may be angry, they may be trying to bargain with you to stay with their best friend who's going to a mm -hmm. certain school. So that's all part of the grieving process and you need to be able to respect that. Or their teachers, it, it, this seems like the kind of situation where your child might ask you a question that you just can't answer. You know, like, mommy, what's gonna happen to you mm -hmm. know, Miss Smith? Or what's mm -hmm. gonna happen to my best friend? Mm -hmm. How can you cope with that? Well, it's okay to say, just like with anything else, some of the things you can answer, um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or we'll, I'll let you know when I know. Um, but as soon as, as you're presenting, help them be a part of the process of, look, we're going to be looking at X, Y, and Z school. I know that there's an open house that's coming up soon that it, you know involve the children. Let them know what you're looking at. Um, it, it probably won't be in the child's hand who makes the decision, mm -hmm. but certainly keep them abreast and, and keep talking. Open communication is always the key. So it's not all sudden, that's right. Exactly right. And, and with an elementary school, I mean, there's so many memories that are formed in your elementary stages. It can be hard for people who are adults now to look back and, and think about the place where they were educated, not being around anymore. It's well, a break of tradition. deal with that? Yeah, it, it's when you ever you break any tradition or whenever you have a loss, you can, I mean, you, you brought up something good whether you knew it or not. With those memories, you can create something that takes, that they can take with them forever. Mm -hmm. So whether that's a scrapbook, whether that's writing down certain memories, something that they can hold and, and they can keep, um, a picture next to their bed, something that they can hold on to and reflect on. Or even the social media reflections that people were sharing Absolutely. yesterday, that's yeah. kind of helps build the community it around does. a common a common bond like that, it right? It does. And keep maintaining their friendships is really important. Or before the end of the year, start planning when they're going to see each other, maybe a certain time each month for the next year. Mm -hmm. Something that they don't feel like they're losing their friends, they're just in different places. Making new ones yes. as they move along. Exactly. Okay, thank you so much, Lynn. This is uh, sure good advice that it, it definitely impacts a lot of people this morning. So we thank appreciate you. taking the time to come in this morning as always. Thank you. All right, ready?